Okay guys, so I've been asked about this a lot and doing this sort of video, so we're going to be addressing my perspective today, which hopefully can come from a little bit of a different angle and give some insight into someone that's been around for a long time and also from a professional background. So I, I played FIFA back in the day, as it was called, as a pro player. So we're going to get into everything. I'm just going to share my thoughts. We'll keep it constructive. I don't want anyone arguing, hating, any of that in the comments. There's no need for it. We can have a proper discussion and hopefully you enjoy and maybe take something out of this video uh, from my perspective. If you want the cheapest FC24 coins to get ahead of the competition, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so let me address this one straight away because I know for a fact it will be brought up in the comments as it has been before, the coin sponsor stuff. So obviously, um, you're going to be wondering why you know, a coin sponsor would ever be in a video like this. And I understand, you know, why you'd want to bring it up. So, because I've had it before, um, there's, there's like a misconception. I feel like most of you guys know, but some people have the misconception that like me promoting coins is somehow like in EA's good books it is quite literally the opposite. Like I have no relationship with EA and probably won't ever because of the fact I promote coins. Um, it is not it's not putting money into EA's pocket whatsoever. They do not like it. So that is that. But anyway, I wanted to talk about it all um, because I, I think I come from a bit of a different, you know, angle with this whole thing. Like, like I mentioned earlier, I am an ex-professional player. So obviously, by default, when I was competing as a pro, I wouldn't call it a relationship that I had with EA at all. In fact, it was... It was a very distant relationship, to say the least, which is a whole different issue in itself. But, you know, by default, I was somewhat, um, you know, on talking terms and had contact with EA. So this was sort of what I mean, I started competing maybe seven years ago as a pro and that was like, you know, a full time job sort of thing. And by default, even back then, you know, if you were. I guess you could sort of compare it to like what a game changer is now, but not as involved with EA in the same that I think, you know, if if your livelihood, at least when I was competing, was back, you know, being a professional player, you definitely weren't able to speak up or speak out um, as much as you would want. And obviously a few years back, you will all remember we had obviously Kurt, who was a pro, who spoke out and we saw, you know, what happened there. And I think it's all relevant, this, because it all links into the whole, uh, you know, creators boycotting, essentially, like, giving up their income and their livelihoods to support, you know, this movement that Nick suggested. And I think, to be fair to Nick, he has um, acknowledged that it's probably a bit unrealistic. Um, but it's just... Uh, it's a tough one, man. But, I mean, we'll get on to where where I stand with it, like my feelings towards the game. So obviously once upon a time, and I'm talking a long time ago, 10 plus years ago, I loved FIFA, man. Like coming home from school, it was either Call of Duty or FIFA. And no matter which one I picked, I absolutely loved it. I loved jumping on FIFA. I enjoyed playing the game. For me personally, that feeling of loving, enjoying and getting something out of purely the game is a thing of the very distant past. I can't remember, I genuinely couldn't tell you the last time that I had really enjoyed playing the game. I think even when I was competing as a pro, uh, I retired like two, three years ago now. Uh, but during my peak, say maybe like four or five years ago, even when I was a pro, my enjoyment came through winning, not the gameplay or anything to do with the game. Uh, the reason I do what I do now is because I do get a lot of enjoyment out of the content I do with you guys. So if you are new to my channel, I essentially help people get better at the game through gameplay. Like I coach people. I try and give you guys better tactics to enjoy the game more. Um, I'll give you gameplay tips to try and help you not lose as much. So the channel is centered around helping you guys that enjoy playing the game get better at it because that is something I can offer. So 
in terms of me actually playing this game and enjoying, I don't really get any enjoyment out of it. I'm very good at the game, you know, as you as you would expect, you know, for someone who played the game competitively for a living, I'm very good at the game. And that's what hits me the most because, you know, I can hit a 20 and 0 and the top ranks and all this stuff and there is still no enjoyment. So I'm thinking you know, someone who's struggling, taking a lot of losses, getting battered, like how must they be feeling? But evidently a lot of people still enjoy playing this game and that's fair enough. Um, but I think obviously, you know, to ask people to to quit their jobs or whatever, and to be fair, Nick didn't ask people to do it. It was, it was a suggestion. Um, wasn't realistic. You know, for someone like me, there's a lot of people you know, that have done similar stuff. Like I've worked seven odd years, you know, to get into the situation that I'm in now and to, to like, to throw that away almost to try and make a stand. When I know from my past experience, you know, the 10 years I've been in this community and even had stuff to do with EA, with the pro stuff, you know, we fought, we tried to fight for change. You know, there was chats we were in, discords, different ways of communicating where we were meant to be able to give our input for change. It it just wouldn't ever change. It, I don't think it will ever change. To be honest, the one thing I will say is we may be closer to change than we've ever been. And the reason for that is because more so than ever, like even though I feel like I've seen this all before, you know, whether it be the messy thing, whether it be a few years ago with the Icon SBCs where the community was outraged, um, you know, what was it EA did? Something to do with like um, the price caps on the Icons where they basically blamed the community um, and said that about the thresholds, you guys know what I'm on about. Um, but all this stuff, like these wow moments, you know, like this is the final straw. Um, we're all going to stop playing. It never really seems to happen. What I will say, and this is like fair play to a lot of you guys who are potentially taking a stand. This is the closest I've ever seen to like a general community wide thing where it actually does seem like people are um, taking a step back. Like I think the actual numbers for this game are down astronomically. Everything other than the profit, which is up because they've absolutely milked, you know, the store packs and everything. But in terms of sales of the game, uh, the viewership, that's down. Um, the active player base, that just has to be down as well. I think everything is it's on a downward spiral. And you would think that that is that is going the right direction for change because ultimately like if the game is dying which it it absolutely is i think i just watched fuji's video and he summed it up perfectly um it looks like you know we could naturally be on the way to some change because the actual figures are being affected now even though the profits up it won't last like if if this distaste continues um and the player base is dropping you would think logically that surely there has to be some change on the way. Um, do I do I ever think that EA Sports will be the ones to deliver us, you know, this football game that we all want? I think I would have to be very naive to ever say that I think we're going to get what we want. I've been around for way too long. Like I say, I've, I've seen, I've quite literally seen it all. You know, over the last ten years, being slightly involved with them. Um, being very distant from them like I am now, promoting coins and all that stuff. I just do my own thing now. I try and help people enjoy the game uh, that want to play it, whether that be, you know, through tips, getting people the better ranks. But I'm an advocate of, you know, I want a game where people are rewarded for improving. And if you're hitting the best ranks in any video game, you should have access to the best things on that video game and at the minute that couldn't be further from the truth uh, i want a smooth skill gap gameplay based football game because at least from my point i'm on here to play football i'm not on here to sit and open packs i'm not somebody that you will ever see jumping on at 6 p.m ripping through packs it's actually never ever even appealed to me the only time i would i would ever do that stuff is when i had to when i was a competitive player 
because obviously back then we had to spend thousands of pounds a year just to be able to compete. But and I find it crazy as well because, um, you know, in the past I have been like a gambling man, right? And obviously there is the whole EA, you know, the PAX gambling thing. And it has genuinely never appealed to me because the way I look at it is like, I just know, you know, I'm going to load up that £40 pack or whatever. And I just know that I'm not getting anything. So for me, it's almost like, what is the fun in that? I guess it's different. If you've ever had like a crazy pack pool, then maybe you have that itch that it will come again. But for me, in like my 10 plus years of playing this game, and a lot of it like full time as well, I have never had any insane like packs that I've paid for or anything. So it just doesn't interest me. I don't do it. So my channel, you know, we don't advocate for the packs. Uh, that's not what we do. We we advocate for getting better at the game and trying to earn our way through rewards and that sort of thing. But obviously, it's been made as hard as possible. Like That is the whole issue we're facing right now, uh, which affects my content as well. Because it's almost like, why would people want to improve when they can just whack on 40 quid and you know get the latest store pack that comes every day at 6pm? But yeah, I mean... I don't know. I feel like I'm waffling on a bit now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me personally, I'm just going to keep doing my own thing. You know, I don't advocate in any way for what EA do. I think the game is pretty predatory in a lot of ways, which is a shame, man, because this is a, what what is it? A Peggy 3, like the, the football game of the world. And it's such a sad thing that the world's biggest football game and football being the world's biggest sport, it is quite literally an online pack opening like casino simulator that is not based around playing the game that we all love. I think it's such a shame, but I don't think it. I don't think we'll we're, we're even close, you know, to seeing proper change. But we will see. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you've got any questions about sort of my journey or my stance or anything, you know, to do with this, or even if it's not to do with it, let me know in the comments and I appreciate you watching. Peace.